How's it going, sisters, mates? This is Mr. Charles, and we're here with a game called Glory of the Roman Empire. Now, this was another one of those frustrating games to set up, though, back in the 2000s, you know, meant to be used by a disc, but I happened to find the right file at the right time. I'm going to leave the link to the file I downloaded in the description down below to help you guys, you know, play it, find it, because you're not going to find it in sale anywhere. It's not Steam, it's not any online website. Well, it is if you find someone that you know, ripped it from the disc and put it on a website, but that, that's different altogether. Here's the thing, right? This is another one of those classic games that I always just love playing. And I've spent at least two weeks trying to get this to work on my computer. Then I thought you guys wouldn't really want to watch me play this because it's basically like your simulator, Age of Empires, Zoo Tycoon, Roller Coaster Tycoon game. But then I was like, no, you know what? This game deserves a bit of appreciation, uh, appreciation, sorry, because it's actually a really good building simulator. It's up there with the SimCity and stuff, and yet no one really knows about it. So I'm doing two episodes of this game, only because I don't know if I can really extend it into four. I mean, maybe I'll do four, but I'm thinking just two for now, and then I'll do two of something else. But yeah, we're here with Glory of the Roman Empire, a, a 2006 PC game. Anyway, what you do, you basically just build up a nice civilization like it's Age of Empires or civilization or anything like that, you know, the, the building thing. And you kind of look after your citizens and their needs and stuff. It's really nice shit. Got a nice easy tutorial here. I'll just walk you through it step by step. Uh, okay, so if I can, I'm doing a training thing at the moment. There's my boys all just fucking eating some fucking water. That's nice. The text you just opened is a notification. That's nice. It's important. To keep a lookout for notifications, as they contain valuable information about... Right, well, that's not valuable information. That's just saying about notifications exist. You can freely move the camera around. Yeah, I figured that, because I can just go left and right. Look, it's magic! Some form of witchcraft! Okay, do you have any good tips? You can, freely move you can zoom in and zoom out with the mouse. The Shift mouse keys to... Yeah, just go away. Look, I'm doing what you're telling me to. Look, going left. By moving the mouse cursor to the edges of the screen. You can also okay, so maybe this as well. Okay, there you go. Now you're happy. I mean, I didn't know that one. Jumping up and down like a fucking weirdo. Okay, so what? Eyeball there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, well, I knew this game would be complex. Can that guy shut up? Can I get him to shut up? I actually want him to because he's not saying anything useful. Alright, voice volume. No. I don't need him. He's just fucking gay. Right, now we get to play the game probably I'll ignore anything he says that's boring. Okay, Town Hall shows important information about the population. Yep. So yeah, this is what you get here. You get to know how many slaves you have, any citizens, all this shit. Don't really need to know about that. You can zoom it there. What does this game want me to do now? Okay, so maybe I haven't played this game for a while. Uh, if you look at the panel, you see no citizens town. Deselect. Look at an empty area, receive. Okay, so just what? Deselect? Is that what you wanted me to do? Okay, so now I have to build a house. This gets the population up. See, it is basically you need your population to support your people. So how do I do that? Uh, uh, okay, the right click. Yes, okay. I, I figured this bit out. Cool. Build a house. How do I rotate? Okay, we're we'll at the top of the keys. Look, see this right menu here where no one's talking is more useful than the guy himself. See, look at this. Building a motherfucking house. You use it from the stockpile there and get shit together. I can fast forward time. The house will build quicker. What do you want from me, you slut? He's out your slaves carrying resources. I don't care. I just don't care. I could build more houses, but I don't know how many... Oh, well, I have these resources. All right, I'm just going to try and build another house then. Build a nice little knit. I can only have one house. All right, good city. One whole house. House, town hall. This is more like a hamlet, if anything. Okay, I need to build a woodcutter's lodge to get some timber. Do that. That's fine. See, isn't this game fun? <laughs> this is me trying to show you how good the 2000s were. Oh, God, why is there more than one arrow? Okay, hold on, so that goes there. Okay, yeah, I can toggle the speed, as I've already figured out, but thank you, game. How do I make a path, though? Or can I not do that? Oh, God, it's turning dark. Uh, at least I don't need paths like it's Tropico, Tropico 5. Fun fact, I think the Tropico people actually made this game, like, first. Or, like, the... Compared to, like, Tropico 5. They made Tropico, then they made... Look, it was made by the same people, okay? Okay, when a production meeting is complete, one or more citizens will automatically go there and start working. Cool. Click on this and find out. Julius Brutus. He seems nice. Looks like he's got an education. Can I actually learn about him? Oh, he lives in the Magalia Decima. And he's 30. Thanks... Thanks to you, care. 
Thanks to your care, there is nothing I lack. Cool. I forgot to read there for some reason. What's next? What do you want from me? Building a town season needs us now, Governor, but what you have done so far is just a small part of the city building. Okay, I need to build a wheat farm. Easy enough. Look at this shit. Uh, cool. Now this is really beginning to feel like Tropica. I can see the resemblances. I played Tropico 5 and beat it, but I haven't played 6 yet. I don't know if anyone's actually played that. But yeah, this is a cool game. Surely you must see why I wanted to play it. Because I want this game on Steam. I want it to be managed. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's a picture of a baby. My worst nightmare. Your citizens celebrate the first birth in the settlement. Cool. Good for me. So we're not be able for long. There's like locusts and shit in the Roman terms, isn't there? We don't really have a hospital. We believe like putting mustard on your feet is a good thing to do. That's what we did to Charles the Second or First anyway. Okay, in addition to flowers, it doesn't need meat. So let's make some fucking meat then. This is a bit easy for a tutorial. Oh, there's a economics thing there. That's nice. Right, meat farm. I'm sorry, vegans. I'm doing this for the game. I'm doing this so I can get through the game. I wish I could just make another wheat farm, but I can't. <laughs> just be a Roman vegan. That's my plan. All right, cool. But this is a nice little village. Nice little settlement we have here. There's a little elk there. It's a nice little natural resort. You know, you won't see any PlayStations around here unless the PlayStation is a, is a sword and a Roman turtle shield, whatever it is. The square ones. All right, what's next? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm building that. It's nearly there. There we go. Okay, now I need more houses. What, am I actually allowed to build them now? Are you giving me permission? Permission to build a nice little place for people to live in? This fucking dictator that's controlling me didn't let me do that before, but fuck it. I'm gonna change our minds now, I guess. Right, you can go there. Cool. So yeah, so far the game's easy. I know I haven't beaten this game before, though. I, I kind of want to now. Now I've started playing it, I want to keep going. But again, I don't, I don't like these management games don't really... I don't know, some of them are good and stuff, but this one wasn't remastered for some reason. It was left to rot, and it's a good game. Like, it's not Age of Empires 2 good, but it's still pretty decent. Alright, whatever, so I'll get more villagers for this. They're probably gonna need more food and shit. What does that pig just do? He just did a 180. What a win- oh, and I won. Okay, maybe the game's not exactly, you know, hard yet, but it will be. Just wait for it. For a mission to learn about the complicated functions. Do you wanna build- I don't wanna build more houses. I wanna get to the hard bit of the game. Alright. So I actually forgot that the in the before menu you get to see, um... You know, what you're meant to do. That was a thing. I skipped that because I didn't want the menu to spaz out on me. As this game has... The like, one thing with the main menu is first that it goes kind of really slow and choppy. And I didn't want you guys to see that. Because then you guys would have thought I was not a professional. And clearly now I'm not now to reveal that detail. Alright, so I'm building shit. Cool. I mean, it's nice that I get to keep the same village I had before. I think. Is it the same? More or less. Alright, what the fuck do I do now? Uh, state of seals remain unchanged. Good. Fast forward time. What do you want from me? Clay pits need to be built by water. Good. Uh, clay pit. So there we go. Here we are getting more resources. Oh shit. Now he's got two at once. He's doubling up on me. And you want me to build a quarry. This is fine. Good. So easy right now. So good in the hood. Fast forward time. And yeah, this is basically the thing. So yeah, pretty easy game thus far. I know you can get into like battles and stuff as well, but I never really did that. All I did was keep trying to help my citizens. And you know what happens eventually when you help citizens out in the Roman dynasty? They eventually want so much that they don't fucking like you anymore. And then they start rebellions and burn shit and hate you. I remember everyone ended up hating me after I helped them so much, so you know. Right, what's next? Your economy is growing. Cool, economy view. Uh, yes. Cool, I've got some flowers, some meat, some fucking, that's it. Um, it's growing. The easy thing to do is open the summon and then you can look at the state of the beer. So this tells me what kind of buildings I've got. Cool. Something else I need to do. I know there's like other objectives you gave me, but I forgot to be honest. Uh, I can restart the mission because they're doing so bad building a clay pit. Alright, now this, this, this one's going to be over with quickly. Uh, one of your buildings is without workers. Oh dear. Do I, I need more people. I guess I build more houses then. Oh, a baby. We already celebrated the first birth. Hilaria. Do you, do you want to maybe like work in the in the clay mine? 
Do you want to maybe do something with your life? You know, I hear they got good hose in there. Then they use like the, you know, the hose to scrape out the clay, you know? And maybe they have a few sluts there, you never know, it's Roman times. Alright, I have had too much coffee. I'm definitely speaking too fast, but I fucking love it! Okay. Build some more houses, because I need them. I'll turn that round. And hopefully someone will finally work at the clay mine! How many more people? Yeah, it doesn't though, does it? I mean, what, you got some people at the fucking wheat farm, some people at the meat farm, some people at the fucking mine, which... You know, I'm not really getting much stone at the moment, but fuck it. Alright, come on. We're doing that. I mean, how do I know, like, how many, like, people... Oh, okay, I won. Oh, they're, they're happy. Okay, I didn't win, but, you know, I'm doing good so far. Doing pretty good looking after my boys and girls. I got a bridge. When did I build that? What is all this land over here? Ooh. Okay, so I could wander off away from my citizens and leave them to it if I wanted to. Right, that's always good. Nice little tutorial. Can I maybe... Can, can someone just work in the clay mine? Because CBA right now, yo, where... <laughs> I've lost my village. I've lost... How did I do that? How can I lose my village? Oh, no. Where? Where did I leave you guys? I've forgotten. Okay, God is actually lost right now. God doesn't know where the village is. God wants to go back. God wants his family. Oh, there we go. Cool. It's so tiny that amongst this vast land, I couldn't find the village. Okay, so someone's finally at the clay mine. Can I maybe, like, extend this path a bit? How do I do that? I don't think I have that option yet, to be honest. So just, you know, let me do that. Cool! I won that mission! Right, next thing. It's probably the last mission, then I'll end the episode. Increase the prestige of your houses by building altars so all of them become casas. That sounds easy enough. So this is where religion comes into the game. Everyone's favourite subject to talk about at school. Right. So, yeah, gonna give me a hint about that. Yeah, get the altar, fine. So, right, that's easy enough. Get an altar. Provides a place for prayer. Cool, and this upgrades the houses so people get happier, apparently, even though they're already fucking happy. Yeah, you guys are happy now, but soon you'll be demanding shit, like voting rights. And I'm not gonna be able to provide that because I'm a little piece of shit. Who doesn't like those, apparently. You know? You would give me one of your, like, eight-year-old children to vote and I won't let that happen. Oh, an old man. Hello. One old woman. <laughs> Got your gender wrong. You're 41? How? You look terrible for 41. You look like Coco's mum. Coco's great-great-grandma. Coco's mum. No, wait. Is it even Coco? Alright, well, you look like someone who shouldn't be old. Your glorious governing has brought prosperity, has it? Yeah, and it says you. Right, building the altars. Slave builders always have to build a few altars, even though you have no rights or freedom. Governor, your shortest of altars are starting to concern your citizens. Well, I am building them. Do they not, like, no? Do they not have a newspaper? All right, now I get to find out. Fucking. There's a little area of usage there. And, oh, Jesus, what's happening now? Select the altar. The inner circle is the bit of FX. Oh, loads of stuff is happening. Well, okay, so I won it. I don't need to read these two, but I'm going to. Someone's got his first casa. Hooray. And your settlement has increased its stature. Good, thank you. And I won the fucking thing. Alright. But that was basically an expo of... Wait, can I just press the cross and then do it later? Okay, cool. That was an expo of what this game is like. It's actually a pretty fun game. It's a one of those ones where you invest a bit of time and you get a nice village outfit. And there are kind of like missions. I think this continues like till the end of the game or whatever. But yeah, can you guys do it yourself if you think you can, you know make a good village, impress Julius Caesar. There'll be a link to the game in the description down below, or like the link I found that worked. And without further ado, a little bit of scratch until it's time. See ya!